that I have had time to make with spirit or whatever somebody wants to call it, whether you call it God or the universe or the divine or, you know, whatever. Um, there have been times where I can just be still and be in a meditative state and have that connection and through connection um, to the divine and through this connection to nature and through this creativity that I'm able to flow, it's brought about a lot of um, happiness actually. Um, so from a work perspective, I've been able to update my systems, my processes, um, I've been able to connect better with my team, I've been able to listen to them and hear them out, it's just been amazing. It's forced me into a routine where health is becoming a priority now and, and, and it always has been in the last 12 to 18 months but more so now um, I'm eating better, I'm getting fed better at home, my wife's cooking for me, I'm incredibly fortunate and lucky to experience that. I think take going forward I'm going to take this new normal um, as a way forward and really savour those moments, just feeling the sun on my skin when I go for a run, having the luxury of being able to go down the road to a supermarket to appreciate the community spirit that has come from this somewhat terrible and um, distressing time for a lot of people, but to really appreciate how everyone has come together, to feel so much gratitude um, that I have an amazing family really amazing friends and incredible colleagues that support and cherish and love me. Learn to slow down. Not fully because I feel like I'm still working every day but it gave me time to reflect. Just doing more for people. Just doing more for someone that isn't me. Now, I've still had to go into work and um, do virtual consults and um, telephone calls with a few patients and it's been really nice to reassure them. But more than that, when I come home, I reassure myself. I have learned in this time to forgive myself for anything that I think I should be doing and I'm not. And I'm learning to enjoy spending time with myself. I really miss my family and I really miss my friends. Personally, I feel like I have I understand myself a lot more and week one of lockdown I was suffering with quite a lot of anxiety probably week one and two and I really had a, a think about it and thought about right did I have this anxiety prior, prior to this yes I did and I knew I did and I probably had it on a huge scale to, to what I've enjoyed f during lockdown the reason why I didn't realize that I had it before is because I just kept on going and I just ignore my feelings. I wouldn't listen to my body and understand why I was getting that anxiety. Whereas now I have time to think, I have time to be on my own. I have time to, to really evaluate what I'm feeling and why I'm feeling it. And that's been really quite, quite um, uplifting for me. And, and actually for someone to say that they found their anxiety is uplifting it is pretty, pretty weird in a way, because before we used to be so, shame to say that we had anxiety and now I'm not I'm, I'm really not and I, I now understand how to treat it whereas before I used to just carry on and and rush to the next place or go and see a friend or you know and, and really brush over my emotions um, now I know how to deal with it and, and the reason why I know how to deal with my anxiety is pr before I just never understood where it came from and I never understood what what would treat it. So now because I've got the time, I'll do some exercise or I'll do some yoga and then I could really have time to think, right, has that helped? Has that really helped me? And also understand where my faults are and where I sort of go down paths that I really, really don't take me in the great way. So sort of maybe alcohol, if I have a glass of wine, I'm quite hard. At, it's quite hard for me to say, right, I'm just gonna have one glass of wine. Um, and, and, and down that line, I then sort of feel like my diet goes down because I've had that alcohol or my mood is, I feel a bit more sorry for myself. And actually, you know, it's nothing wrong with, with feeling sorry for yourself, but it doesn't, it doesn't help things. And I think you just really have to just keep going and, and, and sort of listen to, to how to treat the anxiety. So big thing for me 
during the lockdown process is just learning about myself and, and my previous aspirations for life and what I was always running to, to achieve, even in my day-to-day -day life, never mind the, the near future. I always thought that I was happy and I always thought that things that I did made me happy. But actually, looking back now, I know what made me happy and what didn't. And I'm really feeling quite strong about the fact that I won't go back to the things that I did just to think that, oh, society are doing this, this is on Instagram, this will make me happy, when actually it didn't. Someone who, you know, has restless, like, energy all the time, I've really learned to just go down into myself and be okay with not doing things every day, you know. There's something to be said about taking time to like rest and relax and I sometimes just didn't know how to switch up. I've just been listening to my body and thinking right today I'm having a, a bad day I'm not gonna exercise or today I'm not gonna to do write this article or I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna go and call and have a zoom call with my friends um, I've been less sociable during this time and I, and I don't think that's a bad thing I just think that I'm really really enjoying this time on my own and, and learning to be on my own and have my own time. I think for the future as well, this has really taught me that I just want to slow down a little bit more and get off the, the, the wheel and the rat race and just take a bit more time to nurture myself both you know physically and mentally. I have gone through a little bit of a body transformation um, having um, rejig our diet and our exercise routine and um, now that we aren't getting out so much in terms of we can't go to the gym and um, that's really worried um, worried me in terms of what we can um, you know what we can achieve so um, I've had to reevaluate that and kind of be more kind to myself and um, to realize you know that you're, you just need to stop being so harsh and don't feel guilty and to make the most of any physical activity that we can do. It's all about my own self-development and growth. So I've started reading more books, I've started writing more journaling and just sort of like organising myself a little bit better. I feel uh, this is a great time for growth and if we sort of sit down and change our attitudes and our mindsets, the possibilities of what we can achieve are endless. Enough time with myself. Um, I'm so busy working and meeting people and doing things for other people that I forget to take time out for myself and you know just sit down and reflect. And that's allowed me to like adapt a new way of like being and living and um, you know spending some time with myself. My work roles have changed. Uh, I'm no longer able to teach my students, so finding new ways of working and developing materials online has been very different. My non-clinical role was working from home or attending meetings anyway and that workload actually increased during the pandemic and luckily um, my clinical role I have still been going in because I'm still needed in the hospitals. So that social contact element is still there with my colleagues which I'm very grateful for. Um, but there has been a change and my biggest change has been taking you know time with myself because that's something that I didn't do before the pandemic um, hit and it's something that I will really carry forward and I, and I hope that I continue to do that because because I find that it is like giving me so much more um, reflection time to like think about what I want in life and how I can you know achieve my goals and the things I want to do so that has been my adaption um, there's been a lot of changes a lot of reflecting and um, but you know being positive and looking at things from a different angle and being very grateful for the position that I'm in that I'm still able to work um, that I am you know still able to contact my friends and family even though it may not be in person or social contact I'm so lucky that there's technology um, and I think positivity has been such a massive part to get through this um, and prevented me from you know getting really sad that I can't go back home or see my loved ones or um, you know just to hug somebody um, and I think that it's really important um, and you know positivity has been a big big uh, important part of the way that I could adapt. Your health is your wealth and it isn't just about your body it's about your soul and your mind. It's three-dimensional much like dentistry.